the rare total solar eclipse is just days away and southern Illinois is going to be hopefully weather permitting one of the best places to see it. So Dr. Noah Petro with NASA joining us live and Dr. Petro, of course, this is getting a lot of attention. What will we experience Monday afternoon and why is it getting so much attention? Well, a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse is one of those events that you know people really should try to enjoy. If you can get into the path of totality, I'd really encourage people to do that. The moon will block the light from the sun and for about three minutes, you will be treated to the most spectacular solar shows imaginable. Now, if you can't get to the path of totality, uh, Chicago will still have a roughly 94% uh, eclipse, not quite as uh, you know immersive as being in the path of totality. But again, if you are fortunate enough to have these safe viewing glasses, you can use this, look up towards the sun, and you will see almost the entirety of the solar disk covered by our wonderful neighbor in space, the moon. Um, and so for that time, people will notice that it will start cooling off. Uh, you'll notice birds, animals starting getting ready for bed. And it is this really uh, sensory experience that people will enjoy during the eclipse. And the thing is, it kind of, it begins, and, it, and the course of it from beginning to end is a total of a couple of hours, right? right. That's right. Starting at just about 12.51 p.m. in Chicago, uh, the moon will just touch the sun, and then uh, over the next uh, about two and a half hours or so, ending at about 3.21 when the moon moves away, you have this event. So it, it rolls out slowly, again, peaking at 2.07 p.m., but you know it, it does happen over time, and so uh, the the visual you'll see here is back from 2017 when it passed across the, the country. Again, Southern Illinois was in the path of totality for that one. Will also be in the path of totality for what's going to come on Monday. And so you know people should again enjoy it, enjoy it safely. And if you're able to get to the path of totality, you'll be treated to one of these experiences that might uh, might change your life. And the thing is, is even though in Chicago we're 94 percent, mm -hmm. it is still very important to use those protective screens, those glasses and explain why. So the sun is amazing and it puts out so much energy and that amount of energy focused onto the human eye for any period of time can be very dangerous. Two of the most famous residents of Chicago's, the Blue Bro Blues Brothers, were notorious for always wearing sunglasses. <laughs> well, they would be very well prepared for Monday, except that sunglasses don't cut it. You do need these safe solar viewing glasses. I'm putting these glasses on right now. I can't see the bright lights of the studio. I can't see anything except the bright light of the sun. And so for folks who have their glasses left over from 2017, as long as they're not scratched or damaged, you can feel free to use those again if you have an opportunity to get new glasses. Please do make sure there's eye safe. Um, if you go to the NASA website, go.nasa.gov slash eclipse 2024, we have a whole host of information about how to identify safe solar viewing glasses, as well as ways that you can enjoy the eclipse without looking at the sun by projecting awesome. sunlight onto surfaces. Dr. Petro, thank you so much for your time, and I cannot wait to see all of the observations NASA comes up with on Monday. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. The eclipse again, it's Monday. We do have team coverage right here on ABC7 Eyewitness News. Meteorologist Larry Mowry, my colleague Cheryl Scott and Greg Dutra. Special coverage starting on Sunday. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.